class, today we're starting the new unit. This is the unit one of social science, and we're going to be looking at ears. Oh, the ears are going to fall out of our heads so much. Sorry, teacher. Hey, by the way, how come we know what we are in the ears, teacher? That's a really good question, actually. How can we know where we are on the ears? Well, we have here a lot of lines, but no, we're just gonna center on the horizontal lines. And so, got it? Here we have a big big fat line that is called the equator or, or, and it and the equator kind of divides the earth in two pieces it's kind of if you cut it it in two and and it goes 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and the same here, 10, 20, 30, etc, etc, and here, till 80, and, and, uh, and the part of up is called the North Hemisphere, and the part of down is called the South Hemisphere, okay? What's the name of the horizontal lines, teacher? Okay, these lines of here, the horizontal lines, are called parallels. And they measure latitude. Well, any questions? And what about the vertical lines, teacher? These lines of weird here, the vertical ones, are, are the meridian, and I call the meridians, I didn't measure when it had, but, and, and it, and as the other ones, it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and when we get to one, and, Hundred and eighty, he was hurt, hurt again. That is zero degrees. And zero degrees is the part of zero degrees. That is this one is called the prime meridian, and the prime meridian passes by Spain and. And can you skip here? No, you cannot step on it, actually. It's imaginary. Harry, those lines are imaginary. If there, there's the part, when I told you that it, the ears is kind of divided in two pieces, well, oh, this part is the ears, and this one, the west. Yes. Teacher, but I don't understand. What's the use of Well, imagine you're her last in the Atlantic Ocean and you call for help and you say, I'm lost in the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, what a, what a lot of information, but where, in what part of the Atlantic Ocean is journey? It's ginormous. Ginormous. And, and they, you tell them, I'm in this place. Is there's a special way to read it? And no, no, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here I have put the coordinate. It is a north, east, west, and south. 
and I have Merc Madrid. And they in Madrid it the this one is the more or less the one that passes is it's more or less that that one and this one and it's three and forty and what and Madrid is and is in the north and the west. So who if so one he will pass had but forty he north and three west Of course it moves. Of course. It has two movements. Since the rotation and the revolution. Not see no only the rotation. The rotation and the earth there's spins around itself. And it uh, it doesn't move so like this. It's a little bit bit tilt. And there's kind of a that point and and that and that goes from here to here is called axis. Yes, and and the and the axis is. It's kind of passes through the center and goes here. Here it separates the part of day and night because thanks to this moment we have day and night. You because as here we have the sun and here the sun doesn't hit it. Let's see it break here in another place. Let's go. Here we have the ears. In the back, that you, as you can see, there it's dark. Right, it's in the night, and here it's day. <laughs> and here, here it's night right? because the sun and doesn't. There isn't two suns to to go one here and one here to give light. There's only one that gives light to one part of the earth and the earth and one is dark. And it goes like this and it goes changing. To do this process it takes takes one day 24 hours. We have already seen the rotation. Now let's see the revolution. There's a swirl of going like this. It goes a swirl like this. The movement will be and this movement in does the four seasons. Since winter, autumn, and spring, and summer. Let's see it better. Let's go. Here's is this. It does more or less this movement. For example, here, here in the south hemisphere, here. Could be summer because it's is nearest from the sun, but here 
is furry from the sun and it look a bit windy and here is totally contrary and this part could be summer because it's near of the sun and here it could be winter because it's fire from the sun and to do the whole process takes one year and well let's go morning class today we're gonna talk with the International Space Station. And, and, well, how, I'm gonna go how, to get my computer. Here, wait here. actually go there. Let me put it. Okay, let's go. Hi. Class, he's gonna has playing us has about how the most important expeditions in space done in the whole history. Well, let's start. Uh, in 1942, the first rocket reached 100 kilometers above the Earth, but it's more than the atmosphere. In 1947, the first animal went to Spain. They were flies, but I actually hate flies. I really, really hate them a lot. In 1959, the first machine wanted a moon. It was from Russia. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin from Russia was the first one to go to space. Who was the first one to go to space? In 1963, the first one that went to space was Valentina Tereskova. She spent three days in space. She was as well from Russia. And who was the first to step on the moon? In 1969, the first one to step on the moon was Neil Armstrong, followed by his pioneer, Bas Aldrian. In the game, two fashion, and the first man was sent to the International Space Station. Thanks a lot, and it has been amazing. And well, bye, a pleasure to be with you. For the ones that are watching the video, if you have like this video, don't forget to put like and subscribe. See me in the next video. Bye!